It's not a joke. It's real. It's here and it's now. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Nintendo Super Power Club Challenge channel once again. This is Bill, your host. And today we are knocking out a game that I have teased just as much as Adventures of Lolo 3, if not more so. This is Bart vs. the Space Mutants on the NES, and this is card number 58 in the collection. So if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know how much I hate this game, whether I'm playing the challenge or not. This is a game that is notorious for its horrific controls, and I've talked about this game more than I ever care to talk about any other game in the collection, so I'm not going to bother anymore. Let's just jump right into the challenge and see what needs to be done. Alright, on paper, I'm not going to lie, this is a very difficult challenge. Challenge states, try to finish the first level and still have, on Pro, 22 coins. Alright, if you've played this game, challenge or not, you know how ridiculously tough this is for the controls, as we've already mentioned. I played this challenge through and I played the game more times than I care to count, and for the longest time I was extremely puzzled as to why I would get to the end with only 5, 6, 7, 8 coins, something like that. So then I uh, started looking back at the videos that I was playing. I looked back at everything that I did. Did I buy something I shouldn't have bought? Uh, what exactly happened here? Do you lose coins when you die? Well no, what actually ends up happening is, this is a little known secret not many people know about, when you accumulate 15 coins, yes, 15 coins, you earn an extra life. Okay, that's nice, but the problem is, the game automatically deducts 10 of them from your total. So that means, if you get to 15 coins, you automatically drop back down to 5. Which means, if you're looking at the card here, not only the intermediate, but also the pro level challenge are impossible. Yes. For all of these months and years, I have been stressing, sweating, and tearing out my hair for no reason. Once again, we have yet another case of developers or Nintendo, whoever it was that made these challenges, making a challenge without actually testing it first. So, I have no choice but to mark this challenge as impossible. Because it is. You can call it complete, off the list, off the radar, in the books, you can call it whatever you want in any different language. I really don't care anymore, because I am never playing this game ever again. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. We're 0 for 2 on challenges in the impossible category. Hopefully the next one will be one we can actually complete. Take care.